What don't know girl first to make out? What don't know girl first to make out? What, uh, what do you guys, what, what, let's source the audience, what do you guys think? I find there's a, like a really weird power dynamic that's going on here right now. What do you think about Dharma, Intrusive Phil? thoughts exist. People shouldn't feel ashamed for having intrusive thoughts. Hey, what's, what are you, what are you, what are you worried about? This is for whatever, anybody who ever calls me a, a bitch, a loser. Oh! You see that? That's, you got it, you got what you deserve just there. I'm gonna block this guy, what do you think? Uh, Bob Jones says, why is it that a British accent always make people sound pompous and cheesy? Do you think that's rude enough for me to block it? Everyone's entitled to their opinion, okay? And you know, the British have done a lot, and I'm certainly aware of that. I can't stand Americans with their, their feigned British hatreds. Like, yeah, like Henry's Amer been like t t telling me about how much he loves I, the British. I, I, like, I can't stand. We're going to medieval stuff. I, and... <laughs> I'm really excited about it. We went to medieval times together. It was fucking awesome. It was great. Yeah, yeah, Our it was team great. won. It was amazing. It was the best day of my life. That is Queen was there up. No, it looks great. great. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah, so it's just like there's a tautness to the wires. I've had a lot of problems with audio equipment. Is anyone here? Hello? Just, yeah, if you just hold that. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just hold that for people That's for a bit. Just to, just, to, just to confirm the authenticity of this content. I am you can see that. Like Plus hang on, hang on, hang on. I have a hundred, I have a hundred thousand plus subscribers. So there's Wi-Fi problems in this area. So you're gonna have to enjoy this kind of um, as more of a stop motion. Probably I'm into the framing where I'm kind of the I'm kind of the commentator. <laughs> and you, yeah. and well, it's, it's more because I'm like my I'm in two minds because I want to do the show, but um, <laughs> but I'm also having to do a little bit of technical support here. Right. Because we are currently at 42% drop price, which actually is an improvement. Yeah, the yeah. solution is to do nothing. So, okay, this is my genuine opinion that this is kind of, um, I think, the future of content is where the, pr mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the production of it will, will, will always be wrapped into the content itself, right? Kind of like how the spectacle of the content is always Jack, the content. I was, I was tweeting. Oh, what? nothing, nothing, nothing. Has anyone got any questions in chat? Uh, we can actually start to answer qu substantive uh, questions. Where, uh, where I'm from, homies kiss for Halloween. You should kiss in front of, kiss in the name of cultural exchange. What do you, what do you think about that? Jack? I like that the, the, of the two questions we've asked, been asked so far, uh, they're in a, uh, maybe the lighting is too good. That, I think the lighting, maybe we should make the lighting a little bit worse a so that people, questions. people oh, get a lot of, uh, Non-horny questions. Would you rather have your face on the $1 bill or the $100 bill? Um, $100 bill. Jack? Um, one. I mean, you see it more, don't you? Oh, no, no, because it will become irrelevant pretty soon. That's true, and also, I don't, need, I, don't need, I don't need everyone to see me. I need the people who matter to see me, and what that means is the benefactors, you know what I mean? The, the, the people who have in society. The, the, you know, there, I, I believe very strongly that there's gods and clods in society, Jack. Okay. Yeah, 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 and the people who are gods... They're dealing with the hundos. The people who are clods, yeah, maybe they deal with a, they deal with a one dollar bill. But who cares about that? Who cares about them? Big Joel, what are you smoking? Big juice. Ask Big Joel to play Echo. Well, would you be interested in a furry dating sim, or a fur no furry visual novel? No answer at this time. Really? Uh, really? I don't know. You're, you're a little. You're. you're uh, you're, 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 wait, wait, wait. Intolerance is a strong word. Hold, hold the. Uh, most of you, a lot of you, Hold the phone on intolerant. I'm not 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 hold the phone. Almost all your audience. <laughs> I think like furry, the way that the cartoon animals are drawn, oftentimes kind of looks a little bit bad. Does that mean I'm intolerant? Maybe. Does that mean I'm a bad guy? I don't know. Could it? I don't know. That you know, that's not really my problem. So the playpen is in the shot, and the piano is in the shot. Did you want to play a bit of piano? I will be playing piano at some point. I will. I will be. Touch, tickling the pearly whites at some point in the stream. Okay. Yeah, so that was verbal confirmation yes, that yeah, anyone that is... could clip and then use that clip later to make sure that uh, <laughs> Henry the, uh, absolutely one hundred thousand. What's the chat saying? What are they saying about me? This is Infinity what, uh, War. What, are, what, are what did you think of Infinity War? Bad. I thought it was pretty. I thought it was bad. For the record, I thought it was a bad movie. I thought Endgame was better, but I thought It Too was a bad movie. Um, it Too was a bad movie. To be fair, yeah. they were both bad movies. No, no, no. It Too. I didn't mm. see It Too. I yeah. did not see it. Me neither. Uh, color of your toothbrush. Orange. You, I like how it's at Big Joel color of your toothbrush. Do you not care what color my toothbrush Nobody is? Nobody does care about that, no. Okay, um, can you give Jack a little... Sp what did they say? What was the comment? No, what was the question? no, no, no. What was the question? What was the that. question? We're in hell says, what's up, Kings? How's it what going? We're in hell. Make sure to check out We're in Hell's channel, I don't wanna, everybody. I don't wanna, We're in hell is a great channel. Question, what was the question before about, about us kissing, maybe? Maybe that was the sort of... Was that sort well, of what was your thesis in college? This um, is just me interviewing now. I Thanks, chat. 
<laughs> I Thank turned. You, chat. I actually adapted my thesis in college from a video that exists on the YouTube channel. It was about the case transcript for McCreary County v. ACLU, uh, the Ten Commandments case. I wrote a, you know, it was only like twenty-five page paper, and I adapted it into a video essay. That was my thesis in college. I did a better job with it as a video essay. Do not worry; you don't need to read my thesis. I did a thesis on apocalyptic literature. What did somebody um, ask? Do you want a beer? The funny, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna get some alcohol for the room. I guess I'll just, uh, I'll just be here answering questions for a bit, chat. So, if you have any uh, non, any non Big Joel questions, uh, what's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh monster, Joel? Uh, my, my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh monster. Uh, so I was a big fan of the, the crazy, the was it the clown control decks? Uh, so probably one of one of the clown cards would be would be my favorites uh but i will make sure to ask um oh jack what do you think of joel's sweaters yeah they're good yeah he was wearing one we went we went for a little new york exploration today and uh they were good this sense that it was kind of like he knew it was his he knew it was his trademark thing so he was like i'm gonna dress like this specifically so that people you know it was that kind of vibe but uh Spider. Well, spider. Oh. You're not gonna help your wife get out of this mess she's in. Oh. Hi, it's just me. I'm not helping Jack's wife. Uh, for a question for Jack, I'll just take this one. Can you ask Joel what his favorite Beatles song is? I want to argue now. No, it's my, I'm, I need to ask. <laughs> my favorite Beatles song may be "I Want You" slash "She's So Heavy," but that's not a final answer. There's like a ten-way tie uh, for number one. Momentary content warning for arachnophobia, I guess. Uh, uh, look at this. Guy. I hate I this. Like how tiny he looks now that he's in the frame. I promise that this is a huge spider. Get him out of my it's, life. It's probably like a maybe a foot foot size. Hey Jack, what's your favorite book? We're on Hell Wants to Know. I like Brave New World. Jack likes Brave New World. I don't know what I like the most. Maybe Breakfast of Champions by Kurt Vonnegut. One guy says this. For me? One guy says this really interesting question. Um, Joel, would you rather be considered a homophobe or kiss Jack? I guess I would r rather kiss Jack. Were the what were the questions for me? We we know that the lighting is a lot better for Henry than it is for me, um, and that's just one of those things that we're dealing with. Uh, and oh yeah, beer. Do you think you're a better person than you are a bad person, Jack? I think I'm a morally good person. Yeah, Damn, I can't imagine saying that. I don't think I am. You're a morally bad person. I don't think I'm bad, but I don't think I'm like a. Um, I think I'm average, pretty much average, not that good. I, I think the main difference between me and a person I consider morally good is, um, like veganism. I th I think that I, I have trouble accepting that I'm an o even an okay person while I continue to, to eat, you know, meats and stuff. I I constantly want to stop, but then I don't, and I think like, oh, okay, so you you're just as it's just a bad guy thing to do. I'm mostly a vegetarian, so at least I know that I'm pretty morally right. you're good. Pretty morally yeah. good. Yeah. We eat fish, which like it's not really an animal, right? So it doesn't really. Uh, have you seen The Wire, Jack? No, uh, I haven't. I've seen the first free. I kind of for some reason fell off after the third season. I find The Wire kind of boring when I try and watch it. I Wait, can't get into it. Yeah, a lot of the classic shows that other people do find boring. Like to be clear, I've heard t so many people say they found the, Zap the Sopranos boring or Mad Men boring. The idea of finding I Mad love Men boring is repulsive. To me. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's okay. To be fair, horrible, I always skip the first three seasons now when I rewatch. Not me. Couldn't be me. Actually, not always. Sometimes every other rewatch, I'll skip the first three seasons because I really just once it starts to get going. When they leave, uh, was it McCann? Right. They, when they, they start stealing Cooper's Raper Price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when the show, I really feel like it kicks off. Like, it goes from being, like, one good show to a completely different, like, masterpiece show. To my, know. to me, anyway. I, I feel like it's a whole different level at that point. For me. I don't know about any of this. I, I like the Hobo Code, the episode in the first season. Mm -hmm. I like the Carousel, the episode in the first season. Yeah. Obviously, there's a lot focus. of great... They sort of focus. Yeah, though. yeah. I don't know. I love the first season of Mad Men. That's my opinion. I was saying on a rewatch, I rewatched also, I mean, as I was going through, I think either season five or season six, I didn't like as much. Mm. It was like one of the seasons, one of the later seasons where I just was like, oh, it felt like nothing actually happened Is there here. an issue the two of you are ideologically divided over? Actually, yes. There is one. 
morality. And so, like, for me, mor mor morality is based on judging an action that is good or bad, and you are like, well, I, I, if I a person... A moral relativist. And I'm a, I'm a moral objectivist. I believe that there are things that are objectively right or wrong. Yeah, that's so strange. To, uh, that is still so strange to me. I, I feel like you can't describe morality in terms of object. Henry, I, Henry believes in objective I, morality. I, I, the I, idea I, that mor morality. morals can be objective. That, that can be yeah. value to a moral code, and it's still a construct. I just, I don't know. I don't feel like we have to jump to this, to this wild thing saying that there's some kind of concrete, objective, moral... To, to, moral. to clarify my beliefs, I think that... You can measure the goodness of an action in the same way you can sort of measure the the, the boiling point of water. I, I, obviously, there are certain assumptions that we're making, but that doesn't mean that the entire edifice is like this socially constructed thing. You know, there are, there are various aspects of who we are and the way our minds work that make certain uh, moral claims about us emergent from our biology, from our evolution. There are ways that we deserve to be treated, in my opinion. That's my sort of take about that. I mean, I think what's interesting is that it's like, obviously, we don't need to disagree on, hey, Totoro. Totoro's here too, everybody. What's my thing there? Oh, you used Totoro to distract me, so yeah, I didn't know what I was going to say. Uh, oh, I feel like you could you could agree on all of these things, and you don't then need to make this jump to the moral framework you're using being some kind of, like, uh, thing that transcends... This is getting to be a kind of a, a heavy kind of... Kind of heavy thing, questions. But, We're generally avoiding heavy questions. But the, right the, now. we the, have eaten a big Indian meal. We had a big Indian meal. Brit is sick in the corner. Brit isn't still sick because I know in the Dharma video, Brit was sick. Brit recovered, and this is a new sickness. Um, but still, you know, still, the, every donation counts. Every donation counts. But uh, Brit isn't. You know, it's not a long-term sickness. It's just a uh, just ate a big meal kind of thing. My real point is just that it's not my own personal take that slavery is wrong. It's not my own personal belief system that dictates that slavery is wrong. It's bad in a way that transcends my own beliefs about it and uh, conveniently for me transcends the beliefs of slave owners. Uh, the thing about slave owners, right, is that they uh, aren't taking the beliefs of their slaves into account. That's sort of the major thing that makes it wrong. It's not me who's saying that slavery is wrong. It's the it's the human spirit and its desire for emancipation that makes it wrong. Because I've talked about this a few times with you. Yes. When you when you look at things through this objective subjective framework, I, it does lead to these kinds of things because you never want to say something that's obviously atrocious is subjective right. at all, right? right? But that's the, been the that's kind of the same of everything. And I guess the problem is it's like if if we're just sort of using objective and subjective as synonymous with important and not important in a certain kind of way then it's like yeah but I, I guess it's just like i i just i think when you limit it to this conversation right. on what's objectively the case versus what's subjectively the case right. i don't know like yeah i guess then it then we have objective morals because the alternative is just oh it not nothing matters at all and no one cares even the chat seems pretty bored by this conversation what is your favorite tweet fellas go ahead probably one of the drill ones i found i find drill to be very inspirational it's um, impossible not to think the drill has like the probably the corn cob tweet is the classic. I was actually going to say the corn yeah, cob, corn cob tweet. tweet. Maybe... Yeah. No, the other one that I like, Milk and I like shake. it in a really way that's actually pretty oh. relevant to this conversation, is the tweet that's like drill saying, um, "There is no difference between good things and bad guy, the bad things. You yeah. buffoon, you that absolute classic, idiot." Yeah, the classic yeah. straw man, straw man of the yeah, relativist right, position. Exactly. The classic straw man that they use to keep us down as relativists. In my opinion, it keeps us down. Thank you for really focusing this mic all on me. I feel really... Guilty. Well, I feel like when you have something to say... I would really want, want a situation where people feel like I am keeping the microphone on me when you have things to say. You're, the, you know? you're so fucking sweet. You know? like, like, even then, when you were making your thing about the objective, there were so many times where I just wanted to be, okay, fucking, right, I'm going to say, you yeah, know, yeah. but uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to let you say what you wanted to no, say, you know? Can, you can always tear the mic away from me. I like having a holding mic, I also say. I've never used a, a mic right, where I'm holding right. it and, and Do you enjoy the power it. Do you enjoy the power to give to me? Do you think that this is an unequal relationship between us? No, I, I just want things to be equal. It's not uh, it's not a fun thing for me. I just think um, that fairness is important. Anyway, my point about the British is, you know, Americans have not a leg to stand on. Not one leg to stand on. Not one leg to stand on in this world. America has a dream. That's true. Britain that's doesn't, Britain doesn't have yeah, a dream actually, anymore. That's actually really deep. That's true. Britain has no... You know, when I talk to British people about their politics, all they say is like, yeah, man, you know, it's pretty fucking... I can get, like, really passionate about the problems in America and, oh, you know, this bill should pass and that bill should pass. Every British person just speaks with a sort of, you know, it's... 
It seems like it's going to go back to the Tories then, isn't it? That's, that's the sort of general vibe of the British people. Yeah, yeah. Very um, dejected, I think, at the yeah. minute. Yeah, I don't see... I mean, I don't know. It's kind of sweeping statements either way. But um, I don't know. I just feel like I, I don't even know what, what vision uh, the, the reactionary side of the UK even has at this point. I use my power as a Jamaican to be annoyed at both Americans and British people. Yeah, I mean, that's really what you're saying, right? Is it equal, equal opportunities. So it's mainly about Americans mocking the British. No, I mean, I think that America is almost worse in every way. Americans have people fucking dying, uh, by dying of a million preventable illnesses because of healthcare they can't afford. They're being, the, the number one cause of bankruptcy is healthcare. Like, you know, that's the most fucked up thing I've ever heard in my goddamn life. That's the most fucked up thing I've ever heard. If India mocks the UK, I see good go. I, have you ever seen the film RRR? I know you have. Yeah. I love it. You know, oh, uh, no, cool. you Indians, you can't mock the UK. No, of course I'm not. Have there been any really good video essays about RRR yet? I don't know. It's, doesn't RRR say everything it needs to say? I feel true, like it, it feels true, like it says true. what it fucking wants to say. It's yeah. a raw propaganda. Yeah. And it, it you don't think there's any value in a video essay on a movie that has a clear message? I think that if a movie... No, I mean, if it has a clear message, but then there's something else that, you, that doesn't, it doesn't say itself, then no, but... Mm. but yeah, but, you could do a good video essay on some other part of our... Yeah. There just isn't what yeah, I yeah, feel like yeah. we would generally cover, if for I instance. Would, Although cover, our videos, our channels are pretty different. I can cover the craft of our... I just, I can't cra cover the themes. The themes are... The themes, it says it them better than I could say it. This stream is very spooky. Oh, favorite uh, periodic element. Um... Why is it that it came, helium came to my mind so fast? Helium? Why is it that helium came to my mind so Before fast? Them. What about yours? Uh, platinum. Ooh. Pretty cool. Ooh. I think it looks pretty cool. I didn't even know platinum was an element. Yo, if Jack helped you off a horse... <laughs> any thoughts on House of the Dragon? I didn't watch the last season of Game of Thrones, and I was so... You know, I've just... I petered out so much, and I'm, I just don't feel like I'll ever be interested in a new thing. That's... I mostly watch TikToks. I mostly watch TikToks. I, I I did show you the first episode of Dharma. Um, yeah. Do you have any opinions on Dharma? You know. Do you want to share? You know I like the first episode of Dharma, Jack. Yeah. You know I think it's a good show. Yeah. He he kept as he as he was t as we were watching the episode, Joel kept kind of saying, um, "Your video is kind of bullshit, right?" Like, um, this is <laughs> obviously great. I didn't say that. To be sure. No. Sure. No. Yeah. Definitely. I didn't say that. Yeah, no. But he did like the first episode, yeah, and then we great. yeah we also watched the first episode of Pam and Tommy, which is also going to be because that's a future video thing. And you like the first episode of that? Less than the first episode of Dahmer. Thank you. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know, Pam and Tommy it felt a little bit like stupid to me. A little bit dumb. I thought the, the, the it's most dumb, it's dumb and trashy the entertainment. The most interesting scene in Pam and Tommy for me is the one where Seth Rogen is masturbating, and uh, he's joing, and and and. And, and and there's a convenience to the fact that his hand is covering his dick. The convenience is that, A, you don't have to see Seth Rogen's dick. The show isn't sort of showing you a, a, a penis. The second quality it has is that it's telling us this guy is a small dick. I don't like... I don't like... I don't... It feels like a dumb, sort of insulting, weird joke. It feels it feels very, like, Seth Rogen to me. To be like, haha, this guy is a tiny little uh, boy dick. It's interesting, too, because actually multiple times throughout the show, they show Tommy Lee's large penis. Oh, do they? Yeah. Well, then there, there was literally a mold. And Sebastian Stan has even said in interviews he kept the mold on the whole time they were shooting because it helped him get into character. Trust me, I was like, I was like, I need to kind of feel like a man. Because <laughs> yeah. Tommy Lee had had a huge package, apparently. Right, right, right. right. So, so there you go. It's all, it's all like about juxtaposing dick sides. Yeah. The dick talks at one point, too. We watched a random, or not a random episode, but an episode of Twilight Zone yeah, that we liked. Yeah, I should T-Zones. They're good. Uh, what? Shout out the episodes? Five yeah. characters of an exit, and number 12 looks just like you. Good episodes of the Twilight Both good episodes, definitely. The first one was kind of like Toy Story, in a way. Totoro is really, like, trying to get on in the, in the stream <laughs> right now. Totoro is, like, fully has an opinion. Henry would marry a jailed serial killer. But it's not a question, it was a statement. I won't evaluate it. A jailed serial killer. A jailed serial killer. I don't know why you would distinguish jailed and unjailed. But, I mean, I wouldn't either way, personally. Really? Why not? Um, serial killer, jailed, or unjailed. Well, I, okay. So, on a personal level, because I don't want to be one of the victims, which I know is kind of a Classic selfish... Cowardice. I know it's Bullshit. one of the... Yeah, it's selfish. It's you selfish. Know, it's hell, selfish. You admit it to right here. You know, I would be saying, because I, I'm principally against it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's a. It's a. An axiom. It's one of my axioms. Of your... uh, serial killing. It's like nothing else matters. If you're a serial killer, it doesn't matter how much good it would cause the, to the world. 
no matter how many you kill. Well, the problem with the serial killer is that he doesn't do it for the good. He does it because he's a serial killer. That's the. That's the, that's the, that's the I don't think the motivations matter personally, but I guess really? that's, I guess I'm just different. You don't think just a guy who kills a bunch I, of people can be a pretty cool guy? I'm just saying like. To kidnap, not not even like a war situation. Just like some people should be just sort yeah, yeah, of widely killer, assassinated. You know, like yeah, like Dexter situation, classic Dexter. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. find and yeah, that's what, you, that's what you think should happen. To, I think to, that's to what should happen. To, yeah. I think yeah. if you're a convicted felon, that yeah. should always be something you're that's kind of thinking about. Sort of take on it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Least favorite animal, Jack. Uh, least favorite. I mean, I like animals in general, but uh, I guess one of the bugs. One of the bugs is pretty pretty, pretty bad. Which one? Flies. Flies are really annoying. They're really annoying things. Can we please go into the big dick zone here and you tell me your least favorite mammal? Please. <sighs> Could you please, like, can we get out of the BS territory? I think it's really mean what hippos do. How so? They just run at people and kill them just for, like, being around. Yeah, yeah, hippos are violent. There's no reason for it. They're already at the top. They're bullies. The problem is every criteria I have to, like, call a mammal a bad mammal, I feel, like, completely unfair for it. Like, hippos, they're... Why do hippos get so mad? Hippos are very territorial. Why? That's they don't they need to be. They do need to be. They're big, big boys. Oh, like, fighting each other? I mean, they just need well, to... why don't they just only be worrying about each other? I want, you, I want to ask you a question. What would you do if you were a hippo? Oh, yeah, you'd, you'd murk people. I'd hang out in, like, the... <laughs> no, you wouldn't. I'd hang out in the no, swamp and not worry about it because no, I'm a fucking giant tank of a being. Uh, I wouldn't need to worry about it. Why is a hippo worrying so much? Chill the fuck out. <laughs> you're just... You're a hippo. Don't worry about Except it. Except for, um, Sly Cooper. Murray the hippo's cool. I can't come up with a single mammal I don't like. I can't come up with a single mammal I don't like. We are actually reaching the 52 minute mark, which is almost at the con contractual, just the general, the regular non-contractual uh, amount of time that we had together. Mm -hmm. uh, and you said you were going to play the piano. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how you're going to hear it. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll just do this. Okay. Uh... Oh! 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 This is something I call. That's what's I call. Oh. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, I changed the whole. I got the whole framing set up for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. What do they think of it? Well, I mean, you know, it was kind of the. It was like the. It was the beginning of something, really. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That's do you want me to do you want me to to change all the framing back yeah, to how it yeah, was before? Yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. Todoro, what do you think? Any questions for Todoro, actually? Yeah, because we've been like we've been hogging it for the last fifty-three minutes. So Todoro, you have the last seven. Questions for Todoro. She's trying to wiggle away from my arms. And I'm <laughs> 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 full on. Okay, maybe Todoro should be allowed to go. Jack and Henry, how would you rate your self-esteem out of 10? Like a 6? That's pretty good. Yeah, I'd say maybe like a yeah, 5 or a 6. A say, low 6. A low six. I would say 5, honestly. I don't think I have like above average or below average self-esteem, really. It depends on the topic, you know. Uh, like, you know, self-esteem when it comes to, you know, I don't know, fucking vibing. Probably like a 3 out of 10. I'm not that great at vibing. Self-esteem when it comes to making video essays? You know, 6 or 7 out of 10. But you're playing uh, Slay the Spire. What's your self-esteem at? 10 out of 10. Maybe 90% of the time, when I check your Discord status, you are playing Slay the Spire. Do I mean, you do, do you have that, like, in the, on the side yeah, a lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not open. I did that with Darkest Dun Dungeons for a while, mm. but then that, it kind of, it slowly drifted from being, like, the thing I was just doing on the side while I was working to, like, the main thing. Um, you ever read a book? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. In September, I read two books. The first was called What We Talk About When We Talk About Running. The second was called Fault in Our Stars. I've been trying to read Mar so... Mark Hughes. Who was that? Who was Marcus? He did, uh, he's a philosopher. What did he say? What was his bullshit? I'm, I'm trying to get to that. Okay, all right. I'm trying to get to that. How does one get their video essays seen? We've talked about that, actually, a couple of times. Could you disagree with it somewhat? I think it's basically a, uh, a lottery to some extent. Mm -hmm. I think you should maybe just focus on making work that, uh, says things you believe in or, like, I mean, um... I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, you should just sort of make something that you're into making and sort of ideally have fun making 
um, and expresses the thing you wanted to express mm. without, uh, and then uh, that alone is probably the best way to get seen because other than that, it's I feel a lottery essentially. I think the best answer is probably Reddit. You can use Reddit to get views. You can use Reddit.com. Yeah. You can post your videos on Reddit. That's the only advice I'd give for that. More broadly, you know, do what you love. Um, if you make good videos, I think uh, there's a good chance, or uh, not a maybe like a thirty percent chance that they'll get an audience. Maybe 50? 50%? 50 is, I don't know. 50 is tough. You know, there's a 50% chance that a really good video essay will get an audience behind it. A really good one. How many really good ones are made every year? Three? Really good video essays? Yeah, they're all that. There's a lot of good video essays. It's just, I mean, I see my probably part of what warps my perspective somewhat is that I genuinely like don't watch YouTube that much. Me neither. Me neither. Spe Me like neither. I don't watch content yeah. similar to mine also. So specifically if you're asking for advice from people that make similar content to you, um, it's bad because I, I guess in general, I'm not going to sit down and watch a video that's anything like right. the kinds of things that I would make, right? Yeah, it's very rare for me. Yeah, yeah. Are there any YouTubers you've been watching a lot of lately? Gotham Chess. And um, Potato McWhiskey, the Civilization Six streamer. I've been watching City Planner plays, uh, really good City Skylines, uh, yeah, playthroughs. Where because he's a city planner, so he like really gets into the like planning of the city. Yeah, still, and, uh, this is my basic opinion. People always say there's so much competition, but the amount of actual high quality stuff is vanishingly small. Yes, that's what I believe. I do not think that a video essay is working today needs to worry about there already being too many incredible video essays being made every month it's not true it's not true it's just not true it's just not I true. Don't, yeah i don't think it's any maybe harder than it was i just think that um you can't like so yeah there's certain things you can do audio equipment is something we've like yeah. To, so yeah having good sounding stuff having it not look like shit i guess but uh I just think like you can have those baseline things and you can make something that you think is like good stuff and it could just not pay off. Like when we talk about like a good video essay, I think part of what makes a good video essay is kind of the timeliness in a certain like people are ready for that specific thing, right? At that time. Sometimes people want something that's kind of like just more comedic or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. sometimes people want some like big expose on some important issue that no one's done anything on yet, you know? And it's just like, I don't know. I feel like there's a, there's something that's hard to predict. I'm not sure if this is a good advice given the, the number of extremely long videos that are doing extremely well right now because um, length is so important. But I genuinely do believe that the number one goal of any creator, regardless of whether it makes you successful or not, is to not waste anybody's fucking time. Don't waste anybody's fucking time. Did you hate summary. Say it as concisely. Say every sentence as concisely. Move on. Nobody cares. Just move on. If you're spending an extra three minutes saying something nobody cares about, you're explaining something nobody needs to know, you, you wouldn't want to watch that. So why would you want to write it? That's my number one advice. Put, write that. Put Heavier that. editing, essentially. Yeah, kill yeah. your darlings. Fucking write what you want to read. Yeah. On the other hand, if you want to succeed as a YouTuber, pad out your content as much as possible. Yeah, it looks like that's um, the way. Yeah, right. that's what I would say. Do whatever Henry's saying here. Do the exact opposite of that because I think that is actually the thing you know, that. Like five-hour runtime and things like. Well, months, the thing about what you're saying, if you, so, here's the thing: you're saying file down to the important stuff. Yeah. So you're saying 100% of the time I've got to fucking pay attention to the video. So, because if I don't listen, then I'm missing a point, right? Whereas if you bullshit around and pad it out, maybe once every few minutes you'll make something that's an important point. And then the rest, is, I can just hang out and vibe, you know? I can just chill out. I think that's what, I mean, that's what tons of people use YouTube for, isn't it? Like, tons of people just, they're doing some cleaning or they're going for a walk or something and they just kind of want to, you know zone out a little bit while also picking up a little bit of information or enjoying something and so two things one for the record i'm not saying anything about any three that is what you're saying that is what you're saying that is what you're saying i don't i'm not calling any person a bad writer i'm just saying Fuck off. okay i'm sorry okay no go on sorry then, uh, sorry i don't know yeah I, I i like to think that uh it's true that you have to pay pretty fine attention to my videos because they change a lot because they move on a fair amount so you kind of have to keep on the i think they take 
some of your attention and maybe that's a problem yeah um but at the same time like there's i have to make time for your videos right like i i generally keep up with your videos but like i would have to be like oh, i need to sit down and watch henry's new video i'm not just going to be like i'll throw it on whenever yeah it's for me personally it's yeah i have to think i have to think about what you were saying you know uh, and also would you do you dislike it when people watch your videos and they're not paying attention to the visual side of it at all i you know with my videos i try to make them interesting enough that um that you'll want to watch them but at the same time i totally understand it if I, you know yeah i'm the same way uh, what, yeah like, pretty much what, like, 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 i understand the lot on the rewatch too i rewatch videos and don't let, watch them physically i don't I think we we'll just wrap it up then yeah so it was fun doing this thank you for coming out Thank you. Folks, thank you very much. Um, and thank you for letting me use this microphone. No Jack's going to play a little bit of... Oh! Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! All right. He did it on purpose. I was trying to actually do it. Um, I'm a feminist. What was that? I'm a feminist.